5's Nathan Fletcher tells us why we should care about a new movement to remember Vietnam veterans. You might have seen the story this week about the effort by Vietnam veterans to track down photos of service members who were killed in combat. But they aren't stopping with those who gave their life in Vietnam. The effort includes those who lost their lives in my generation's war, Iraq and Afghanistan. I was able to submit photos of some of my closest friends and family members who died in combat. Jan Scruggs, who was wounded in Vietnam and founded their memorial, told me he knows my generation will eventually have a memorial of our own, but it could take years. So he's heading up the effort for us now. When I was 12, I went to Washington, D.C. I was a child. There was so much I didn't understand. But one trip to the Vietnam Veterans Wall, and I understood the sacrifice. I understood the human toll of war. As I got older, I learned how many of these veterans were treated when they returned. It's fine to be against war, but it's not right to take out that anger on those who served. Today, as a combat veteran of Iraq, I am the recipient of appreciation and thanks from many who are making up for how they treated our Vietnam veterans. But far from being bitter over this, the Vietnam era veterans have welcomed my generation with open arms, helped us transition, and are now leading the effort to preserve our legacy. Years from now, future generations will be able to see photos of those who gave that last full measure of devotion. And we will owe this to those forsaken by many when they returned, our amazing Vietnam veterans. They truly deserve our highest honor. I'm Nathan.